What you're going to do is see, as you can see, we are opened inside of an email message that I already have typed out, and I'm going to attach the updated Coffeehouse presentation. So you're going to look up at our ribbon up here, and you'll see that we have, you can attach a file, link, or a signature. And then you also have the option, actually, if you go to the Insert tab, you also can attach a file that way as well. So when you click Attach a File, it's going to drop down and it's going to show all of your recent items. And then you also have the option to attach a business card or an Outlook item if you wish. You can browse any of your web locations, which could be your OneDrive or any SharePoint sites that you may have. Or you can just browse your local PC for any files that you may have directly on your computer. So for me, I'm going to go into browse into my web locations and head into my OneDrive. And then I'm going to scroll down and find the Coffeehouse presentation. And I'm going to just insert it in. And when you insert something from OneDrive, you can either insert it as a share link so they can have a link that they can directly go in and edit it, or you can attach it as a copy if you want them to have their own version of it. So for this, I'm actually just going to attach this as a copy. You can see that it appears there. And just to note, uh, you also want to make sure that your file size is under 25 megabytes because that is the max amount that you can send inside of an email. And then when you're all set with that, all you're going to do is hit send. And that's how you attach a file to an email. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.